Life on the edge is never easy. A tough place where great forces of nature are continuously shaping the destiny of those living there. A place where some seek refuge and where others come to die. But it's also where many creatures have found a niche. The intertidal zone that is neither land nor ocean is bountiful for those that can adapt to a world that changes every hour of the day. This is the home of the African black oyster catcher and to its close rival, the kelp gull, consummate predator and scavenger of note that shadows the oyster catcher and other intertidal dwellers, waiting for one to make a mistake. African black oyster catchers, with their distinctive red bill and legs, are one of Southern Africa's rarest coastal birds, classified as both a regional and global red data species. On the mainland, they have to face many more dangers. Cape Clawless Otters will not pass a young chick by, and they are closely watched. The chicks are very vulnerable to predators and have refined hiding to an art form. Finding these oyster catcher chicks is, uh, is not very easy and it involves a bit of detective work. You've got to find where the adults have been feeding their, feeding their youngsters. And you can see here we've got a mixture of old food from last year and new food from this year. In the meantime, disturbance at the widowed male's nest site was at a peak, with quad motorcyclists riding over the dunes nearby. The female, where others had failed, our brave-hearted male parent had triumphed against all odds on a hostile beach. So, in late summer, his chick fledged, taking to the sky on its own epic journey westward and to oyster-catcher independence. <laughs> 